What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike. I'm Chris. Yes, yes. What up? Nosferatu. We're doing episode seven, Scissors for the Drifter. We finally get to see yeah. what the game is, even though we probably could have figured kind it of out. Figuring that yeah. out, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Mike, what'd you think? You like this episode? Yeah, cool. We got, uh, I mean, we got more of the things that I think you've been complaining about is a little bit more of the home life stuff with Vic, but I guess it made sense to a degree, but to see inside Christmas land was, was really cool. And, and just the kids feeding. What so do you, what did you, cool. what did you think about the inside of Christmas land? Were you, were you, it was cool because I was, were you yeah, no, down? I was, I was really, really looking and there was, you know, you see all the mountains, but you see all these roller coasters back. A and big clown. No, a big, and, a big bear, I think. A big teddy bear or something in the back. Yeah, and, there's the, you know, the doorway. Obviously, clowns creep a lot of people out. So for a big clown to be on the, the gate instead of maybe Santa or something right, is a little yeah. strange. But, I, I, you know, it's it's a big Christmas carnival. You know, it's... it's what, um, did, what did you think that it wasn't... It's cool. What did you think about the fact that it wasn't, like, uh, lit? Like it was all dark and like I yeah, assume that's, that's how it is that, all yeah, the time. That's what that gave you that creep factor. Even the little houses that the kids come they out. All, right? I was like, people are they living in? There? I guess that's their houses, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. They're just uh, so yeah. Cool, cool scenes and stuff because you had the moonlight stuff kind of going on. He so was in the moon. Remember, his face was yeah. in the moon again. I um yeah. They they call Vic. So I want to kind of talk about Vic first. Let's get that over with. Mm. Um. So they call Vic. A couple of times and say, "Where's my dad?" and you know, whatever. Yeah, now hasn't you been and I had in a long time. You and, and I have uh, you and I have a little uh, uh, disagreement as to as to what that means. So everyone who's listening or watching, if you if you ha if you have a take on it, let us know. But I, you know, she calls him his fa her father. What her name is? Mil Millie Mindy. What's her name? Mil she said Millie Manx, but she specifically said like my dad. And right. None of the other kids say it like that, so I'm thinking. But we that never heard it. Well, I don't know. That's the that's the disagreement. The disagreement is I'm assuming that somehow, somewhere in the past or something, I don't know. I mean, these that, children that don't he necessarily had a kid. Age, that you're saying right? that he had a kid and he may have had a kid. I remember because he was telling he was telling Jolene in the flashback like we want to have kids and all this kind of stuff. So I think he might have even said like something that. He might have even had kids or something. No, no, he like did. This. He said, these are all my children. And she says, what you're doing is not right. And she's like, they're not your kids. He's like, yeah, they're my children. So maybe they're it's my children. Not yeah, well, I don't know. Just just the reference, uh, the first and last name using his last name. It's not like they said Haley Well, Manx, that's what's, so that's what's throwing Manx. you off. That's what's throwing you off. The problem is we haven't heard from any other kids. If we happen to hear from any other kids and they say that, then – because my, my take on it is that they're – they're all his kids now. Now they're all his kids. He think he he's their father, so they identify as Manxes. Like that's it's weird. Possibly, I don't know. I that's just how that's my take. How on they specifically it. said so if anyone Billy Manx, right? You know so, what I mean? but yeah, Why she's would the only one we heard that? from though. But because of what I just said, because they identify he's made them his children. So if anyone's read or watched even ahead i don't even care but let us know if 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 you have an answer on that point anyway yeah. she vic she needs a new knife she knows she can get a new knife you know uh, maggie won't help her she mm -hmm. decides she's gonna go to bike week with her dad that's where she got the first one now here's something interesting she'll yeah. know i think she's gonna know what when she gets her new knife because She'll feel it. Cause She'll feel it. She he says, you lit feeling. up like a Christmas tree. So obviously that was the the knife and her power, you mm -hmm. know, meshing and her finding that. But, you know, yeah. unbeknownst to her at the time. So I think that's why when she gets on the other one, she's like, nah, this ain't it. And then yeah. she finally blows up. She has one beer and she blows up at her dad. And, yeah. and you know, and, and I don't know. That was well, a really good scene. Yeah. And the fact that the boy was there, I forget his name. Yeah, I forgot his name too. Um, but the fact that you know this kid who's in love with her, he's there. It makes mm -hmm. it. I like that because it it makes it that weird, awkward like. Uh, Shit, I'm in. Yeah, I'm in a shitty. You know what I mean? Like, and situation. what's interesting? What I enjoyed is that he didn't open his fucking mouth. Mm -hmm. well, what normally, can you do right there, you know. Now, normally, you have you know that third character will open their mouth and be like, "Oh well, you know, blah blah blah." So I'm glad that happened. Or, yeah, it was, it was uh, you know, it was everything that we really talked about in the episodes past in our discussions about um, 
you know, did Vic ever see it? Was she was she blind by it? And obviously, no, uh, in, in that scene, she was blinded, uh, and she kind of admits that, you know, of course, maybe I didn't want to see it and all this kind of stuff. But um, yeah, she lets loose on the father, and uh, she goes and uh, takes off with, um, you know, Scooby Doo, Scooby, yeah. Yeah, Shaggy, whatever. Um, as far as that, I mean, that's you know, we really he gives her a little pin and whatnot, and mm-hmm. they get stoned, and then they go to sleep or whatever. So, I mean, not much going on there. She's looking for a new knife. Uh, Maggie, on the other hand, she falls back into her old tricks. So she gets yeah, she gets high. Pills and, yeah. and, you know, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Joe. Joe. Joe, thank you. I was going to say Jay. Yeah. Joe, yeah, he's disappointed, but he's going to take care of her and everything. And then he Joe gets taken. Mm. You know, Manx gets taken. And, and so with Manx, which is really cool, is he, he was like really on the edge there. And I like how... Vic confronted. I love watching them. I love that she goes back and talks to him. She knows that he killed. She knows that he kidnapped. Yet she goes yeah. back and she has nothing she can do. And yet he's roaming free, still working. Mm-hmm. And he like throws her up against the locker. Like that is a that's a very dangerous thing. And like I don't think I think he would hurt her if he had to. And she and he looked like he, he, you know, with his little rhymes that he always says to yeah, now, you know. He's a huge dude, and but she doesn't yeah. care. She keeps throwing herself in his way, and yeah. and she's kind of fearless, and it's really endearing for the for her character. But you know, finds out that you know, Manx has killed everyone else that he's worked with, and so obviously yeah, he just he's got puts that, that seed in his, in the back of his mind, Bing, but. Yeah, I, it's, you know, to see them together is still so strange. I'm like, would this be for a girl that found a body who who claims that Bing was the one to do it, for them to still be going to the same school and everything without any kind of police uh, um, interference or something or saying that they should, should there's no, um, what do they call it, uh, when you get like an order of protection thing or something? It's just funny that it, they're still, you know, in, in each other's way really at school. So that was... Every time I see them together, I'm like, shit. You know, I don't want Victoria to mess this up by, by, you know, anybody seeing her. You don't want to get hurt, right? So yeah. we, you don't know what's going to happen. But yeah, you know, the thing is, is, you know, Bing is like more than once. You know, he, the Manx is too weak to do anything to really do anything about it. Well, how about when he was walking down the street, essentially, and the, you know, and he found enough energy in the, before. Uh, uh, oh, with the kids. See, now this was now yeah. that was a cool scene because I was like, "Oh, what's going on?" That guy. That was so annoying, though. Oh, yeah. why don't you say thank you, sport? It's like, no, shut up. Stop, stop yeah. calling your kids sport. All right, enough. Oh yeah. no, you had enough candy, and he's just like, dude. His his uh, face was hilarious when he looks at the kid. He doesn't look at the dad at all. The dad yeah. says no, and he just goes, you know, yeah. like this guy right here. And then he walks away. He goes and he uses the phone, you know, and. um I, and he's yelling at Bing. He's like, just get down here. Come to Colorado or whatever. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. No, it was cool to see just the basic, um, the, 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 just, just Manx getting older and weaker. And by the, by the time we see him again, he's laying on the, you know, at the junkyard with the, with the woman that's getting the part. And Manx is, and Manx is, is laying on like, like the carpal tunnel. It's like his hands mm-hmm. are all, you know, um, and he's on his last leg. It's like, I almost wish, the uh, the woman of the junkyard didn't give him the the radiator in the first place. You know? So that's a, so it's like that's he needed my one more minute. You know, and Manx would have been. Well, here's my post, question to you, you know? about that whole thing. How did how did yeah. you feel about that? Because she she was just really. I, so she I was waiting for them she, to. She gave them the part the to cops. facilitate the yeah. cops to come, let yeah. without anyone knowing but this she and was that. that. Close to she him, kn- he knew though. Like obviously, he knew who she yeah. was. She yeah. knew who he was, and uh, yeah. and then she's just like, ah, ah, and just dies. <laughs> and she, yeah. I yeah. assume you you assume she dies. She has a heart she attack collapsed. or something. Like yeah, that. something like that. Or but yeah, that came banks. down to the wire. That was pretty interesting. Oh, and then he and then it. So obviously, this this his knife is he's so connected to his knife. He's he's worked it into his his story. So, it's his life. It's his. So it's his, it's his life yeah. essence. Like you know, so it was it was interesting. It's showing us his vulnerability and. Obviously now Vic also Vic knows Maggie knows that they have to destroy the car to to get to him, so I you know I like that I like that whole thing and then we end up at yeah. uh, we end up at Christmas Land and you know yeah. doesn't let Bing in again 
he's like, don't ever question me again. And he's like, you know, like Bing's like, he's messing up a lot. And he, you know, mm-hmm. he's just like, oh, but I'm not going to get it. And he almost went in. And I was like, it, it was like run he in. Was, he was walking just, in, he was to that last second before the gate completely closed to get those peaks, you know? Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it shows the, the kind of, um, the kind of person, the kind of brain that Bing is working with. Um, you know, I but, didn't, yeah. an- I didn't anticipate seeing the kids as this much. And when they called, it was a lot of Vic. Them, you know? Yeah. When they called Vic, that was very interesting. Like I was like, Oh damn. Okay. So I just thought yeah. we, I, you know, I didn't, as this has gone on, obviously it's been showing us, no, you're going to see these kids and see what they are and everything. And they're just little monsters. They're, they're little demons. Like that's it. I guess they just stay like that. Yeah. You know, they just stay like yeah. little demons. And I, and I think that's pretty interesting. And, well, yeah. I wonder what happens if they don't feed too. Well, you know, I think now, yeah, they probably. I think they you know, probably die as well. Because they were saying they on die. the phone, you know, they were saying on the phone to to Vic, uh, you know, we're we're hungry, you know, you know, we we need to eat and all this kind of stuff, and yeah. you know, what are you doing to to you know to to Manx and Where's all this my kind dad? of stuff? Yeah, right. Where's our yeah. father? Blah blah blah. So yeah, so, so they play. So I felt real bad. They you know they fight like they. This is the first time they've killed one of our characters, really. <laughs> Mm-hmm. you know what mm-hmm. i mean like they've killed a couple people here and there but yeah the, this is well, the first time we got you know i didn't i didn't expect that at all i didn't expect joe to be taken mm-hmm. and killed like that so that well, was pretty interesting scissors for the drifter gonna, you know exactly exactly and that's the plot that you're gonna need for um maggie for to get maggie back to into get it back yeah into right game. so yeah. i mean obviously you know the device is there it's you know but that's interesting you know what this yep. is episode seven so we got three yes. more to go uh, yes. next week looks pretty interesting. I yeah. think, uh, yeah, I, I, this was a good episode. I'm, I'm, I'm glad the, the Vic stuff, you know, was good stuff. You know, not that it's never good stuff, but it was good stuff this time. Uh, you know, I mean, we didn't mention the fact that her mom sold the thing and the dad's like, well, you know, once your mom, you know, yeah. gets it in I, her head, I, I, I you know, he's just yeah. like, you know, it's like. You know, so that's obviously why, you know, that led to what happened. But, I mean, look, it was good stuff. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing where this goes. Yeah. Uh, I'm absolutely. just trying to think if there's any other thing. Oh, I did. I want to I, I, I want to touch on two things. One is that once he get, gets his power back, they're sitting in the car. He's like, they don't see us. He says, no, they don't yeah. notice us. What, what's no, your take little, on that? What's your take on I that? I mean, I was a little, yeah, it was, um, I'm not sure. Um for them not to be they had to have not been able to be seen by the cops I, I i don't know i really for for her she had to have said there's a wraith here how can you not see them um he but see he again he said no they don't notice us i know meaning, but i don't know if that exactly meaning they were hiding in plain sight so 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 he almost i it feels like manx did like a glamour on them like he was like they saw they saw them but they didn't recognize what it was it's like if you walk into a room and you see a chair you're not really no you're not noticing it it's just something that's there i think that's i think that's part of his power and 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 what he does like that's how he hides in plain sight i don't think he became invisible that was that was odd i don't know for me i think i still i think it's 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 a strange way of because when they would have, I mean, that would have been the first thing. She was right next to the car. It's not like they were. A, I know. A well, that's what I'm saying. Way. He made it so they didn't see them. However, it it turned out. Also, the other I thing is, overall, I I love the cinematography. I'm 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 in mm-hmm. love with with the way they, every mostly every shot is. The way it's framed, if it's on a one yeah. shot, if it's a mid shot, if it's a close up, or or even every bl- they they put you so. They're putting you in the person's face, like they're get, they're putting you in the person's space. So mm-hmm. when you're with Vic, or you're with Manx, or you're with Bing, and you're you're just with them because they blur out everything else. Everything else around them is out of focus, and it allows us to focus directly on just who we're seeing and listen to just yeah. that. And, <coughs> excuse me. This is something that obviously they've been doing, you know. Uh, from from the get go, and and yeah. I've I've said it before, but I just want to mention it again because this this is especially in this episode there was a lot of that. So they they, yeah. they give you a Dutch angle on them. Everything else is out of focus, and I love I love it. I love it. It really helps bring you into that unease of of what the character's feeling and what we're watching. And 
Yeah, man, I I, yeah. I, I enjoyed it. I, I uh, yeah, you know, yeah, no, I, I mean, it. I agree. I agree too. Like I said before about you know the shot of Christmas Land and and uh, and all that. It was beautifully. Um, I was set a little. And- I was a little disturbed, but like not. I don't know how to put it. I was disturbed, but not in the way that I think they wanted it to. I wanted a little more. It looked like it was a well, park. Man, we'll, probably, it, we'll probably see more. Well, no, no, let, me probably, let, let me explain. Let me explain. I wanted it visually. I wanted more because it's, all it seemed like to me was a park closed down for the night. But I don't think that's – but I don't. But no, I think that's how it looks dark. all the way. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I thought no- it would be a little more – I'm not saying daylight, but I thought it would be – brighter in that it have more sinister color so give me some red some red orange tones give me give me weird lamp light down down a fairway or the midway or something you know like i think for my taste it was a little too dark and i i i I was envisioning it demon like but like just more i think i wanted more sinister color is the best Mm. way i can say it so i wanted it i wanted more light because yeah. it was very dark, I wanted more light so I could see the, more of the surrounding. I, no, I, and I'm not I saying understand. again I, bright I think lights. It's but... like that. I think it's. I think it's. Listen, this is the most we've gotten out of it so far. So I'm sure we're going to see more. Uh, it's to perpetual explore night. It's perpetual. Of it. Yeah, you know. It is remember, what it's it is, it's Christmas land, so it's going to be Christmas colors and things like that. But um, we didn't. It was all dark, dude. We didn't. We barely saw anything. Like this, the houses. I think. Well, that's a point. I think they they did that. For it's a very reason. silhouette. Yeah, right. It's like a silhouette land, which is which yeah. you know if I think about it in that way where everything is essentially in silhouette that makes sense it's it's kind of like it gives it a mystery to yeah. it so that's why i said like if they were to give it all up if it was gonna be lit up and you could see so much more i kind of like that you got the moonlight it's kind of it was lit by the christmas lights but plus the moonlight yeah, there right, and you right. see the mountains behind and stuff and yeah. the roller coasters and stuff because like i said i really took a good look at it but yeah it was i mean it was a great shot it was a beautiful shot and i'm um, sure we'll see more of it too yeah and and one last thing really just the just the again the 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 creative um the makeup effects and everything of Max oh, how they Cal- went from old to young again yeah, yeah. Very, very cool it's very seamless very, it's really good yeah. it's really good yeah it's no, really, and really i'm staring good. at that waiting i'm looking like yeah. oh let me see what they're gonna how they're gonna and they, they've done it in this in last episode as well mm-hmm, mm-hmm. really good i enjoyed it yeah I but to see it. manx in such a state like that to them popping back up and and scaring the shit out of uh the junkyard woman and her having a heart attack whatever she went through was was kind of crazy because for a second obviously she thought she had him and i thought you know i was just hoping oh come on well, you know why did you have to tell him that you how had did the she have that was that manx or was that just because it was what was what? happening ha- what happened to her did manx do that to her i i think she more i think it was just more of um i got him and then dies. Yeah, and she just realizing at first that um, she had the guy that potentially took her kid, her son, and his kid. Yeah. Um, oh, she. Oh, baby. he says that shit to her. Remember? Yeah. He talks shit to her, and he says your son was bad, and he does. He got what he deserved, and, and yeah. the little kids. Well, no, no. Her. Well, that she was bad to them. You didn't have any time for him or something. He to said the, to the or, son, but then also the, that this father was bad to to them too. Though he said. He said yeah. that the father was also bad to that was a bad one too. And the, the, so just just that like r- that shock probably just put her over the edge. So I don't necessarily think uh, it was maybe yeah. That's probably Max. It. But another I mean another great one. Um Yeah, man. You know. Right, let us you know, know guys i mean i don't think we have anything else you're good right no let's let's um, end this piece yeah this cool stuff minutes. i mean cool stuff it was just crazy how the kids they were like zombies dude eating joe but um cool stuff uh, right in the comment section below, let us know what you guys think of uh, Nosferatu. Hopefully, you guys are getting into it. It's a, it's a great series. Um, we'll see how how it goes in the, in the next three episodes. Check us out at Third Person on all the social media platforms. There, uh, we love to hear from you. So um, you know, type uh, till your fingers uh, fall off. Fall off. Yep. Yes. That's it, guys. Thank you very much. We will see you for the next episode for Nosferatu. Peace.